Right then, Choros, I think we've done it. Guys, I present to you the biggest sandwich ever created. Are you ready for this? Here we go. Yep. Yep. Yep, it's still going. There it is. Look how big this sandwich is. Oh my goodness, how are we gonna eat this, Troyorus? Oh man, it's huge! <laughs>Dan here from the Diamond Minecraft. And welcome to another Minecraft mod showcase where today, as you can see in the background slightly, we have turned Treoris's office into a magnificent kitchen because today we're taking a look at the Epic Sandwiches mod. Now this mod sounds pretty standard, but let me tell you that these sandwiches are going to absolutely blow your mind when we start placing them into the world and munching down on their tastiness. Are you ready? Then let's get to it. So Treoris, we're going to have to start Start from scratch today, buddy. We need to um, we need to build an oven because all we've got are these fancy tiles. They look really nice. They're like probably 3D and everything. Don't they look good? Are you hungry, buddy? Ah. Yeah, same. I'm well. I'm not too hungry at the moment. Um, to be honest, I, I could definitely eat a sandwich still though. Even though you're full, you can still make room for a tasty, tasty sandwich. So let's open this up and take a look at what we've got to use. So we've got ingredients on the right and we've got materials on the left. So let's grab some of these things because we're gonna need to start crafting some stuff. As I said, we don't quite have a, um, an oven just yet, but we've got a crafting table over here and the materials to do so. So the first thing we're going to make is actually a chopping board. So let's put this in the middle here, and then this on the left, this on the right, so you can use a slab of any colour with a pressure plate in the middle to make a cutting board and then for the cutting board we're going to need a knife so let's craft one of those as well one iron ingot and one stick in this pattern will make one of these and then we've got the most important part the oven so the oven goes here iron in like a pants recipe and then you put coal in the bottom and flint and steel in the middle no nope, no nope, wait wait we put it the other way around and we make an oven there we go so let's place this into the world this looks really cool actually look at that and it opens and closes and looks absolutely magnificent we just need some saucepan so we can make like some soup or something to dip our bread in but anyway let's place down um the chopping board and there we go look how beautiful that looks that looks really nice i like it we've got like a fully fully working kitchen in here so let's get to making some sandwiches now actually we need to make two more things which are the mortar and the pestle as well so let's make the mortar first we put the little bowl shape in here with um smooth stone and you get the mortar and then the pestle i think is diagonal and you get the pestle and then put them together and you'll get a mortar and pestle now, for those of you that don't know what a mortar and pestle is, it's actually a thing where it's kind of like a stone bowl, and you've got a stone handle as well. It's kind of like a spoon, but with no, like, dip in it. And then you crush up stuff so that you can cook with it and make it a little bit easier, which is what we're going to do to this wheat right here. So if we go to the crafting table, take our mortar and pestle and our wheat and put them into a crafting table, we will crush all of our wheat down into flour, which is what we're going to need to be able to cook in into bread. So let's grab some of this. Let's grab all of this actually and then grab our mortar and pestle back. It's good that this doesn't run out. It'd be awesome if we could place it into the world like with um, our chopping board and stuff. But it's okay for now. And I think we need to cook this flour, don't we? So um, let's grab... Okay, we've already got some coal on us. So let's shift and right click the oven and then we should be able to place in the flour. No, does that not work? It doesn't work, Charles. What are we going to do? Yeah, I think we should just use a normal furnace. Where is, where is one of those? Ah. Oh, right, round the corner. That's actually really handy. Oh, there's one. I didn't even know this was there. I swear this wasn't here before. Charles, what are you up to? Your little tricks. Anyway, they're helpful tricks because we need to put some coal in here. Let's grab half of it because we're going to need the other half for the, um, we're going to need it for the oven. So let's cook this up and we should be able to get some slices of bread. Actually, they might even be toast. So let's have a quick look here and see what it creates. It's toast, everybody. It's sandwichable pieces of toast. So we can use these to start to make our sandwich. But first, we're going to need something to display them on and then we're also going to need some ingredients too. So these ingredients right here clay and bone meal are what we need to make some plates and all we need to do is place one of each in a bowl shape just like this and then bone meal on the top and then one of these will make one plate but of course we need two because we're making two sandwiches and these can be placed into the world so i'll put one here and then one here as well look how nice they look yes true they're massive Look how big they are compared to my body we're gonna make a, a sandwich as big as my head i like that i like that a lot 
Right then, let's get to preparing some kind of um, sandwich. So we need, there's another kind of bread that we can make. And the way we do that is we grab the bread and then we put it into a crafting table with the knife. And we get to make slices of bread. So we've got toast and we've got bread. So let's make one of each of those. And then we can start preparing some food. So we've got raw pork chops, potatoes. We've also got carrots, raw chicken, tomatoes, lettuce, milk, and also raw beef. And all of these can be prepared into different sandwich ingredients. So the first thing I'm going to do actually is take this toast and then I'm going to cook just one chicken and you'll see why I'm doing that in a second and while we're doing that let's prepare the rest and the first thing we're going to make is some simple streaky raw bacon so we're going to grab some of that that looks absolutely tasty and we're going to leave the knife in the crafting table because we can make other stuff like we're going to be able to make some sliced potato which sounds very tasty indeed can also make chopped carrots to put into a sandwich. Not sure I've had um, carrots in a sandwich before like that, but hey. But hey, it's going to add some nice crunch. And then we've also got chicken, which we can make raw chicken fillet with, which will need um, cooking, as will the um, the bacon as well. Then we've also got the tomato to make some slices of tomato and the lettuce as well. It's all coming together. Got some lettuce leaves that we can make into a sandwich. We've also got the raw beef as well, which can make beef slices, kind of like chopped up steak. And then without the knife in the crafting recipe, we can actually make some cheese as well. So we just take one bucket of milk, put it into a a crafting table and we can get some cheese and then you add the knife back in add the cheese back in and you can get a cheese slice as well let's grab a couple of those actually let's get a gra grab a couple of everything because we're not going to be able to put the normal things in here so let's grab all of these and then we can start making our beautiful sandwiches. Now, we are going to need to cook a couple of these. And that is what the oven is for. Now, the oven, I think, can actually cook up to four different things. So we've got raw bacon, raw chicken fillet. We've got raw beef. And I think that's all that we can cook for now. And we're also going to need some coal. So what we're going to do is um, get this out of our way. Get this bucket out of the way as well. And shift and right click as we did before. And now we're going to put the bacon in. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Look at that bacon. <laughs> it's 3D bacon. It looks amazing. I'm going to put a chicken fillet in there, a beef slice, and um, should we put some more bacon in there? I think we should put some more bacon in there. There we go. It's kind of, oh, it's adding down. We can we can add in a lot. So there we go. Nice one. And then what we're going to need to do is add some coal, and then it will start to cook. So let's just keep adding it in there. Shut the door. Do we need to shut the door? There we go. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. You can see it cooking. And when it's done, it will have a little black smoke coming out the top, which is going to be epic. Now, let's go back to this cooked chicken here because we can chop up one more ingredient, which is going to be a chicken leg. Now, I'm not sure if you can put that inside of a sandwich, but... There's only one way to find out. Let's sort these ingredients out so we can actually make our beautiful sandwiches. And we're going to start off with, let's start off with a toasted one first. And then we're going to grab all our meat products as well when they're done. Are they done? I think they're done. Oh, no. Oh, no. I burnt it. Oh, man. What is wrong with me? I left it too long in there. Let's try this again. We're going to have to make some more bacon. Here we go. Let's put all of the bacon in there. Here we go. Put all of it in there. And we're also going to put... Um, this in here as well, and then we're also going to put some of the beef slices as well. So I think you can put four in each slot here, which is cool, which is why the bacon's doubled up a little bit. And we just need to add another bit of coal and keep an eye on it this time. Let's see if we can keep an eye on it and see when it finishes cooking. We need like a, a cooking timer or something. Trust, don't worry. I know you're hungry, but the sandwich is on its way. We just need to wait for this. There we go. It's finished. Did you see that change color? So we need to take it out before it starts burning. Give me all the goodies. Give me all the goodies right now. I need them all. I need them all before they burn. I don't want any more burnt food on me. I don't know if you can actually um, eat the burnt food. Should we try it? I'm not that hungry at the moment. That's bad. That's bad. Let's see if we can jump around a little bit and have a little bit of hunger because we haven't done much exercise today. We just kind of got up and then started um, started making sandwiches, didn't we, Trevor? So we need to jump around a little bit, see if we can get a little bit hungry. Grim, are you hungry? Do you want to eat this burnt meat? Not even Grim will eat this burnt meat. He doesn't want it at all. But anyway, let's start making sandwiches and hopefully we'll get hungry in a second. There we go. Let's see if we can eat it. Here we go. We're going to eat it. Yes, we did it. I'm guessing it doesn't add too much hunger, but there's no side effects. That's that's good. Oh, oh dear. 
I, I broke a little bit. Trails, don't look at that. Just, just be careful when you're over here. Right then, let's make a sandwich. Let's make a toast one first. So all you need to do is right click with your ingredients on the plate and it will start to build a sandwich. And the rules are you need a bottom slice and a top slice. That's it. And then you can add up to 10 ingredients in the middle. So Trios, what do you want? Let's go for a cheese slice. We can put chicken legs in there. Oh my goodness, look at that. Chicken legs, a lettuce leaf, carrot, potato, tomato. What else can we put? We've got cooked bacon as well, Trails, of course. It'll have a double helping of double bacon. Um, what else have we got? Cooked chicken fillet. And then we're going to go for some roast beef as well. And then top that off with another piece of toast. There we go. That is a really tasty looking sandwich. It looks so awesome in the world. It really does. And now we're going to make another one, but this time with bread. So here we go. Let's see what this is like. Let's put roast beef, chicken. Let's see how much we can put in of everything. Can we get everything in one go? Let's also add um, chicken fillet we haven't added. Haven't added any bacon. Oh my goodness. Let's put two servings of that. Let's put three servings of bacon. I mean, why not? Can we put this burnt meat in there as well? Oh, Oh no, that's not going to be tasty at all. How much more can we put in here? We're still going. We're still going. Are we at 10 yet? Or are we still going? This is going to be the largest sandwich in the world. I think we can make the largest sandwich. It said on the mod post that you could only put 10 in. But this guy's going ham. Look, I'm double carrots, lettuce, potatoes, tomatoes. Oh my goodness, this is the, <laughs> this is the most giant sandwich I've ever seen. Let's put some more meat in here, because we need some more meat up in here. Let's go for this. Let's go for some more carrots, potatoes, more meat, more bacon. Oh, no, I want to put the bacon back on. Bacon. There we go. Roast beef, carrots, potatoes, tomatoes, bacon, and I think that will top off the sandwich. Oh, I've fallen down the hole. I didn't mean to do that. Right then, look at that. Oh, my goodness. That doesn't even fit between the slices of bread, Charles. Which sandwich do you want? Oh my goodness, I think I want this one right here. So what you can also do is you can right click your plate when you're done. You can shift and right click. I just took the toast off the top. I didn't mean to do that. You can shift and right click and you will pick up your plates. Now that doesn't mean that your sandwich is missing. It will tell you how high your sandwich is and what kind of ingredients you've got inside it. So you can see you've got toast on the bottom, cheese slice, chicken leg. Shows you all the order and everything and then you can put it back down wherever you like. So let's put it over here and it will recreate it yet again, which is seriously cool. Now I think to make it into a sandwich we need to put it onto the cutting board but I don't know if because we put it on a plate we'll be able to put it on but let's try that. Shift, right click and then there goes my sandwich. Look, give me my sandwich, it's fallen on the floor. Then put it on here. Oh dear, what have I done? What have I done? I put it on top. Oh man, I think we've got to take our sandwich off the plate. Oh no, Travis, we messed up. We messed up big time. I can't eat this massive sandwich now. This is terrible. I want, I want all the bread. You know what? Give me all of this stuff back. I want all the stuff back. Can I have the stuff back? No? I can't take all the stuff back either. Treris, I'm going to have to make a new one. So let's make one on here instead so we can show you how to eat it. Carrot, potato, tomato, burnt meat. Let's put that on there as well. Oh, we can't put it on this one. That's a shame. Can we put raw meat on here? Yep, we can put raw meat on there. That's going to be a deadly, deadly sandwich. But there we go. Toast on top. And then you can right click. Uh, shift and right click, sorry. And you will get your sandwich in your hand. So as you can see, it gives you a custom model in your hand. It actually gives you the whole thing. Now, I want to recreate that monster of a sandwich in the background and have it hold it in my hand. Let's try it. Okay, I'm ready to do this. I've just figured out where the 10 limit comes from. So when you put it onto a plate, you're not going to be able to eat it. You're just allowed to display it. So we're going to display this in our kitchen, in our um, sandwich shop, which is going to be amazing. But when you put it on the cutting board to be able to make a sandwich you want to eat, you can only have 10 items. So we're going to try and max this out right now with um, all this meat and glorious stuff that we've got on here. Let's see if we can max it out. How much can we get? So that's the maximum we can get. I think we need to take one off to be able to put the toast back on. And there we go. That is the maximum height of sandwich that you can create. So shift, right click, we'll pop the sandwich off and there we go. That is going to um, be very unhealthy. It looks so tasty. Like really, really tasty. And I like the models and everything as well. So there's two options. You can either use the plate where you can display your amazing creations and make it as tall as possible. Or you can make um, one up to 10 items and then be able to eat it. And the more that you add to your sandwich, the more layers, means the more hunger that it will fill up. Now, I need to get a little bit hungry up in here because otherwise I'm not going to be able to eat this. There we go. So ready? Let's chow down on this. Three, two, one. Nom, nom, nom. Ah, yes. 
Oh my goodness, that filled such a big gap. And because it was 10, it's probably going to fill my hunger straight to the top from zero, which is crazy. Trurus, did you have a good time? Awesome, and I hope you did too, guys. And if you want to check out this mod, then check out the link in the description below to find out and download it and find out all about the recipes and the different combinations you can create. And also, if you happen to enjoy this video, then a big, fat, juicy like would be greatly appreciated. And also, if this happens to be the first video that you've seen by me, then please do subscribe and join Team TDM today for daily Minecraft videos. We make sandwiches a lot. I'm going to make a sandwich a lot with this now. I'm, I'm very hungry. Wow very hungry. Look, I just wish I could carry this around and eat it. It's such a beautiful creation. Thanks so much for playing some Minecraft with us today, and we will see you all next time. Goodbye! <laughs>